I'm up here in the foothills of the Bradshaw Mountains, and we're in a pretty good spot for panning for gold. The problem with this spot is there's usually just not enough water for panning. So what we've done is we've improvised a system. In the back of the truck, I have a 55-gallon drum with a water hose that leads to a cooler that I'm not using right now. So what I'm doing is I'm filling up the cooler with the water. This allows me to pan in any area that has little or not enough water for panning. shake or two. Slowly run it back in the water. Let the motion of the water kind of pull everything out. If you need to stir the pan for any reason or if there's any chunks of clay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, going to go ahead and stir those up and smash them with a trowel or a stick or something. What you want to do is go ahead and just keep panning very slowly. Every once in a while, pivot back and shake it. Very easy process. It takes a little practice to get proficient. What you're going to do is keep going. Once you start seeing the black sand, you're going to want to slow down. That's where your gold's going to be. You get down to where it's just brought sand, start going slowly, then turn your pan. What you're going to want to do then is turn your pan around, put it in a vertical angle and shake it. It'll cause all the gold to fall right down. Then what you're going to do is just kind of cut everything back. And as you start cutting everything back, you'll start seeing any gold appear that's in the pan. You actually have quite a few pieces. One, two, three, four little ones. That's great. 